So next we're going to be talking about chronic myelogenous neoplasms. Here we have a 58-year-old patient with the past medical history of irradiation of the chest presents with splenomegaly. The CBC shows basophilia. What is the chromosomal translocation associated? So in this question, the key is radiation of the chest and basophilia. And mm -hmm. that's going to be associated with your CML, which is your yes. 922 Philadelphia chromosome translocation. This okay. results in the fusion protein of BCR ABL, which is a tyrosine kinase fusion protein. And in the mm -hmm. case of CML, this tyrosine kinase fusion protein is going to keep perpetuating cell proliferation. And so do not be surprised that in USMLA exam questions related to CML, your white blood mm -hmm. cell count is going to be very, very high. Going back okay. to the principles of HEMONC, when we talked about suspecting leukemia on your exam, remember that you could have either leukopenia or bone marrow failure, or you can have leukocytosis. That's going to be very, very high. And that okay. is very characteristic of CML that you're going to have leukocytosis. And that's because you are having increased cell division as well as inhibition of apoptosis, two common pathophysiologic mechanisms mm. that are going to push you towards a leukemia type state. Now, the okay. high pharmacology tie in here is that we use the mm -hmm. tyrosine kinase okay. inhibitor in matinib or Gleevec in order to treat this BCR able tyrosine kinase fusion protein. Now, okay. Leukemia did have the tyrosine kinase fusion protein and was associated with poor translocation or poor prognosis. Yeah. Um, are, you, are you asking me? Sorry, cut out a little bit. Yep, I'm asking you. Um, so this was the, a, okay, the poor prognosis was, um, it was, it was the BALL. Yep. Exactly. 922. Yep. Yeah. Got it. So BALL, okay. Philadelphia chromosome, is poor prognosis. When you're mm -hmm. talking about CML, right, you have CML commonly associated with Philadelphia chromosome. Okay. Okay. So when you're talking about these patients who have um, a, if they cannot respond to this tyrosine kinase inhibitor, then mm -hmm. you have to do a bone marrow transplant. And I've seen that before. Now, here okay. are the important points to remember for CML. CML, you're going to have basophilia, Philadelphia chromosome positivity, and you are going to be LAP negative. This is actually very important. So when you are thinking about somebody who has a high WBC count, so they come mm -hmm. in the emergency department and mm -hmm. on their CBC, remember we put WBCs here, we put hemoglobin here, we put hematocrit here, we put platelets here, and we have a patient who has a 20,000 or 50,000, a very high white blood cell count. One of mm -hmm. the things you chalk that up to is maybe they have a serious infection. infection. And the other differential is that I hope that they don't have a leukemia underlying. Mm -hmm. And so in order to differentiate, you are going to use the LAP test because leukocyte alkaline phosphatase is seen in regular WBCs and LAP positivity is going to be related to serious infections, whereas okay. leukemia, because they're bad cells, they're LAP positive, negative. Okay. Now, what's interesting for you to know is that two thirds are going to progress to AML or one third can present to ALL. And this mm -hmm. is all related to that mechanism in our general principles that this is a proliferation of a pluripotent stem cell. And so when you see a patient with CML, and they have an enlarging spleen, think about, for example, that they're going into either AML or ALL, and that's important for you to recognize. Okay. Um, 